Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday. All right guys, welcome to Up and Adam channel two for all the extra coverage. As you know, we are going live at 1 p.m. Eastern with Ricky Cornish, so get ready for that. But we're about to talk about Monica, who is our Real Housewives of Salt Lake City newbie. Um, She's dropping a lot of bombs about other marriages and we're about to talk about her own. So before we jump in, go ahead, smash that like button, show some love and let's get right into it. Okay, guys, so we're back to talk about this situation. Now, let's get into it thanks to Reality Blur, but Monica Garcia revealed where she stands with her ex-husband, Mike Garcia, during an interview literally just this Monday. Um, in court documents obtained by the U.S. Sun on September 15th, it was noted that Monica and Mike were first married in 2009 and split in 2013 after welcoming their now 13-year-old daughter, Jaden. At the time of their breakup, Monica who also has an older daughter, Brie, who's 17 from a previous relationship, was awarded sole physical custody of Jaden, and Mike was granted visitation. According to paperwork, Monica was making over $4,500 per month when they divorced, and although Mike was making less, he was ordered to pay $3.99 a month for child support. Now, following the split, however, Monica and Mike mended their relationship and seemed to stay together for eight years before she filed for divorce on June 12th of this year. If you guys don't know the timeline, just to kind of give you a heads up, um, she was saying she was divorced the whole time, and maybe she was headed for divorce, who knows, but she was saying she was divorced while filming the show, and the show was already wrapped at this point. So, which one is it? I think that's the biggest question. She wasn't really divorced. She was not divorced. She was saying she was divorced, but maybe she was getting a divorce? I don't know. But the math is not math in here. At the time of their breakup, Monica, who also has, again, um, a way with kind of throwing everybody else's, I guess, marital issues under the bus. Um, it just, it seems like Monica, there's some questionable activity. We'll just pass over that. Now, Monica's second filing has been sealed from the public, and it was noted that neither party can harass, intimidate, or disturb the peace of the other party. And I'm wondering what that means based off of them being on a reality show or her being on a reality show. They also can't use the other party's name, likeness, image, or identification to get credit, open an account for service, or obtain a service. So... As fans likely heard, Monica, who lived in a $425,000 home owned by Mike during their marriage, worked as Jen Shaw's assistant for a period of time and has been quite candid that her life is less extravagant than her castmates. She also spoke of life as a single mom to her four daughters, who include West, who's six, and Kendall, who's five. My question is, um, Jen Shaw's real assistant, Marillo, came out and said that she was never an assistant. And I'm curious what that means. Like, I heard that, and this is just what I heard, but I heard Jen Shaw uh, helped Monica with her car. I heard that she helped her get out of some financial situations, but I never heard that Monica was an assistant ever. And I know that there was a cease and desist in line. And I'm wondering if that is why, because Monica was trying to get on the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. But I think based off of the story, Monica's husband was hired as a handyman to come over to the house. And then that's how she kind of jived with Jen Shaw and the rest is history. But I heard that she was never an assistant. I heard that she was the one who recorded that audio from her yelling at the designer. And I also heard that she was running fake Instagram accounts, but there's three sides to every story, right? So as real housewives of Salt Lake city fans may have likely heard, um, Monica is going to be opening up about her life even more on the show. And she is saying that fans will be surprised to learn the reason that her and her husband, Mike, called it quit for the second time. You guys are going to be shocked when you discover the real reasons why we're actually getting a divorce now, because it's not because of the affair. Although Monica hasn't shared the reason quite yet, she said that her and her soon-to-be ex-husband are great co-parents. So she gave him a, a rose. He is a wonderful dad and provider, and we just weren't good together, and that's okay. 
he calls and checks on me. He'll see something in the news and he'll get defensive and be like, that's not even true. I'm the mother of his children and will always love and respect each other because of that. But after admitting to her affair with her sister-in-law's husband, which resulted in her being excommunicated by the Mormon church, Monica said that she didn't hesitate to come clean on camera. Hopefully I get the chance to clear things up and explain timelines, but the people in my life have already known about this. They've already known about the affair. They've already known about the excommunication, and we've all had time to process this information already. It is something that I'm telling these women for the first time, but it was not something that I was nervous sharing. Because as you'll see throughout the season, and hopefully at the reunion, you'll be able to put the pieces together and understand more so why it's easier for me to discuss. Also during the interview, Monica said that despite her negative experiences with the church, she is not against the idea of her daughters embracing Mormonism. This is a very personal decision. I had religion forced on me growing up as a child and a young adult, and I'm taking a different approach with my children in regards to that and just supporting their feelings and how they want to do it. If they want to participate and it's important to them, then I support that. If it's something they disagree with or don't align with, then I support that as well. Now, I don't know if you guys watched last night's episode, and we have a lot to get into today in our live at 1 p.m. with Ricky Cornish, but... Monica did share a shocking rumor about Angie K's husband. And if you guys didn't watch, like, it was just kind of like, there was a lot of aggression in this. There was a lot of aggression in this whole scene. Um, I didn't think it was, I just thought it was wild. But Whitney and Monica told Angie what the rumor was. And the rumor was that her husband has been hooking up with other men and angie did defend her marriage of 27 years and their loyalty to each other angie said that meredith lives to lie about other people's marriages and the only one that's spreading their legs outside of their marriage is meredith Ugh. monica warns angie that the streets are talking about sean and his alleged boyfriends and angie then says i'm sick and tired of her lies and people do not talk about me or my family like this yeah we're going to get a to be con con uh, continued on this, but I, this story for me, I mean, I just don't like, you know, there's going to be a story that comes out about Katie on Vanderpump Rules for season 11. And we got the information and we didn't put it out there. I believe there was another um, outlet who put it out there, but I just think when it comes to people talking about your sexual orientation, it's just not your story to tell, even whether it's true or not true. If it is true, it's even more not your story to tell. And if it's not true, then it's not a bad thing. And it's not something to bash somebody on. So I just don't understand weaponizing that information. But in this moment, we haven't, it's to be continued. We have not heard Meredith's side of this story. And for Angie, we've seen a lot of, we're seeing based off of the edit, it looks like Angie has a hard on for Meredith and we're not understanding why, but then also some fans are saying it looks like Meredith has a hard on for Angie and some fans are not understanding why, but Angie has attacked Meredith's business. Now she's saying that she's the only one who spreads her legs and she hasn't even heard from Meredith yet. She has not heard Meredith say anything about her husband and having these alleged affairs. So I think that's kind of the biggest takeaway from this, but we're definitely going to get some more information today. And I think it's going to be, or next week. No, we're going to break it down today. I think it's going to be shocking for sure, to say the least. But guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. Go ahead and comment below. Let us know what you think. And more importantly, before you go, don't forget to smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you at 1 p.m. Eastern with Ricky. Love you guys.